Welcome everyone to WGC Gaming presents a Willy Guns review. And this is for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Complete Edition. The game. Um, I have a lot to talk about this game. I love the Scott Pilgrim series. I love the movies. I love the books. I own both the black and white and the color editions. Um, I, ha I own the steel book of the movie, the regular movie. Um, I have watched the movie uh, dozens of times. That's a lie. Thousands of times. Anyway, let's get to the game. Because the game, I, I bought this game back when it came released on the PS3. Never beat it. Played like one stage. Game was hard. I'm, I, I didn't have time. And time in my life, I just didn't have time. Fast forward to 2021. The game got released on the Switch. Um, and I'm getting the physical edition. And you know what? I, I, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, let's be honest. I beat the game. I just beat the game yesterday. Um, this game is hard. This game is hard. Um, it doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't tell you things that you should be told. And there is a fine line between being, you no, know, a, a game that holds your hand and a game that makes you try to figure it out on your own problem is when the game has no sense of giving you anything to really work with then that's a problem and this is where scott prom lies there are seven levels in the stage um not including the dlc and the extra modes the game's hard um you'll die the first stage is pretty easy the first second stage you'll die and when you start realizing that you know you start unlocking more moves and the more moves you have the easier the game becomes but then you still don't realize that some of the items that you could buy in the stores boost your your stats and then you start going wait hold on these things actually help me um but i'm never told that you never see that visually you do see an experience points to see when you're gonna move up but you don't see anything else and and i think that's where problem part of the problem is the other issue is when you do level up you get new moves but it's so quick on the screen that you know you don't even realize what the move does what the moves for how it's beneficial and that becomes an issue because then you start realizing that you know you could be using these moves and they helpful and then there's a block button and a parry which the parry i think is satisfying when you do a parry you you feel excited problem is that there's so many different types of attacks in this game that eventually when you get to the later stages you start going I, I can't parry nothing because i i'm so confused on what people are doing how they're attacking um and then no you get hit you get hit and then you try to get out of it and then you know at this point you're just trying to just beat the that bad guy as quick as possible um but you know, and then on top of that, no, uh, the game has multiple endings. Um, I ended up beating it with Scott, and I got one ending. And I, I go, this is nothing like the book, nothing like the movie. Like, what's going on? Apparently, you have to beat it with uh, a certain character, and then you get the real ending. Or at least the proper ending. But it gave each character their own ending. And I, I'm i not going back. I can't. I can't do it to myself. Maybe multiplayer. Maybe. I don't know. But No. Um, I did this single player by myself, no online, no nothing. I can't tell you about the online experience. Um, do I recommend it? No, I can't recommend Scott Pilgrim for everyone. I think this is the type of game that, um, if you have friends over and you want to play multiplayer, sure, but I can't recommend this game as a uh, if you love Scott Pilgrim, absolutely, I will recommend it to you guys. But if you if you're a fan of um, like old school beat 'em ups. I still can't recommend it to you because it's not fun in the traditional sense where this is more of a, um, someone said uh, Riverside Ransom or something like that. I, I never played that game, so I can't tell you that's how it is. But yeah, um, that's all I can say. Um, I give the game a solid six out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it for the most part, but I, I, I won't be playing this game again. That's pretty much my honest, brutal review. That was the WGZ Gaming Review under five minutes.